I'm Christine. Welcome to Book Talk. Today we're discussing Me Before You by Jojo Moyed. So I just finished this book. I went through it so quickly. I enjoyed reading it so much. I couldn't put it down. It was so hard to do anything once I started it. I love that. It's been a while since I felt like I could just keep reading without putting something down. Even though I had other responsibilities, I was like, well, this isn't that long. So I can keep reading because I'm gonna get to the end soon and I can just get back to whatever I need to do. So I ate it all at once and then it was over. And then I was like, now I have nothing to read. And I would just be like, I wanna read my book. And then my book was all gone and it was upsetting but I loved it. I'd give this book five out of five stars. I give it a 94% on my rating scale. You probably know a little bit about this book already. I haven't told you anything about it. I've only told you my feelings. I suggest you just go read it. It's a contemporary book. You should just go read it. If you want to know more, now I'm gonna start telling you a little bit more. It's about this girl. She's 26. She still lives with her mom and her dad and her sister and her sister's little kid. Her sister is 24. She loses her job. She needs to find a new job. She's not qualified for a lot of different things. There's only a certain spectrum of jobs that are open to her. She ends up taking this job as a caregiver for a man who's in a wheelchair. There's a lot about family and being sisters and being in your 20s and there's also love and it's wonderful. And you should go read it. Now, if you wanna know a little more, this is becoming a movie if you haven't seen. It's being adapted into a film. I wouldn't recommend watching the trailer because one, it gives away, I feel like, a lot of the tone of the book. It gives away the tone of the book is a spoiler. And I was spoiled for that tone and I wish I wasn't. I saw that trailer and I was spoiled for a lot what was going to happen. Like I could theorize a lot of what was gonna happen from that trailer. So I wouldn't watch it. Two, it's gonna put pictures in your head. Now I'm not too sorry about the pictures cause I loved seeing the two actors from the movie as two of our main leads in the book. I thought they fit those roles perfectly. I still would have rather have gone into this with a clean slate. Do what you want. If you must watch the trailer, watch the trailer, then read the book. Now I'm gonna talk about it a little more. So if you don't be spoiled anymore, leave now. Okay, so the two people in the trailer who play the two leads in the book are Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones, who I love. She plays Khaleesi. And Sam Claflin, who played Finnick in The Hunger Games. And I've also heard that Neville Longbottom plays Patrick in this book. And I just, I'm so excited to see the film now. I wish I could watch it right now because I'm in withdrawal of this story. I just want to read more of the story and it's over and I'm so upset. I know there's a second book, but I don't want to read that. <laughs> I just want to read this one. I just want to stay in this one. At least right now, I do, don't. If anyone has read the second book and you have positive feelings about it, please let me know in the comments because I really enjoy this writer's style. Now I'm gonna go into the tone of the book. So if you stay now, you're gonna be spoiled for the tone. And the tone will give you more hints about the book. If so, if you don't wanna be spoiled for that, leave now. Okay, as much as I love this story, it was a sad story at the same time. I loved it and it had highs and I knew it was gonna have a low because I was spoiled for the tone. I only cried at one part and I'll tell you that part in my spoiler section. I think that's all I can tell you in this non-spoiler section. I would highly recommend reading the book, even if you don't like sad stories because 95% of the book isn't sad and it was just made me feel really warm and fuzzy and I enjoyed it immensely. <laughs> Bye non-spoilery people. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so spoiler section. I was so upset at the end of this book. I did not, I wanted it to be a happy ending and it wasn't. And now there's a book too and I'm just supposed to read that without Will? I'm just not supposed to have Will there? And the story was more about Lou than it was about Will. It was about Lou finding herself and figuring out what she wants to do with her life and becoming the person that she could be, not the smothered version of herself that she felt like she had to be. And it was wonderful to see that, but Oh, it was so heartbreaking to watch her have to say goodbye to Will after everything they'd been through, after all their adventures. They just did so many things together and it was so beautiful to see them both coming out of their shell and enjoying themselves together. I love when they went to the classical concert together and oh my goodness, her birthday, when he came over to their house for her birthday, that was just the most amazing scene. I loved it so much. I hated Patrick in that scene, but like I loved 
love to hate him in that scene. I love the back and forth with him and Will. I loved when Will gave her the gift with the tights. It touched my heart so much. And I was so happy for her. And I was so happy that he would do something so nice for her. Oh, I loved the family aspect of the book. I loved her dynamic with her mom and dad and her sister. The struggle that she had to go through to balance everything with them and work and how proud her parents were of her for working so hard at this. I loved when Will helped get a job for her dad and I liked seeing him so happy. I didn't like watching her family pick on her all the time, but I loved that they were in this story, that that was a huge part of this story. Her dynamic with her sister was a huge part of this story and it was really relatable. It was really refreshing to have that be so prominent. I loved how as Will was leaving, he was like, she gives a great bath. <laughs> the wedding scene. I, I just, it was so wonderful when she got on his lap and they went and danced together and they had so many almost kisses, so many of the romantically charged moments that night. Uh, you went from riding this super high high with them to that next morning when Will came back and we found out that Louisa had intended to his medical needs last night or this morning and my heart just dropped because I thought that was gonna be it. I thought Will was gonna tumble into sickness and everything was gonna go wrong after that and Louisa was gonna feel so guilty because she let herself get drunk that night and I just couldn't believe that she let herself get so drunk that she wouldn't tend to his medical needs or wouldn't remember or wouldn't feel comfortable if she didn't feel comfortable and Will knew she didn't feel comfortable he should have asked somebody else he should have had her call that woman that they were at the wedding with because she works with handicapped people right so maybe she could have helped <gasps> that part stressed me out to no end and then she plans this amazing vacation for them I was so proud of her and so happy and so excited to to watch this play out but at the same time I knew that I only had about this much book left and it feels like we'd have to go really fast through that vacation if they were gonna get to do all those things together I wanted them to be able to swim with the dolphins I wanted them to actually get to be together and they do want vacation and it does turn out to be really nice but Will is stubborn and um, I just wish that when she told him that she loved him he extended his deadline one more month just one month to test it out. When she said that these past six months have been the best of her entire life and he said, me too, it crushed me, it crushed me. The only part that brought me to tears was when she was home from vacation and she wasn't talking to Will and she came down to eat with her family and her dad was happy and said that he thinks everything's gonna be picking up for the family now and she just broke down and just sobs and told them everything that had happened and had been going on for the past six months. Their support for her in that moment and her ability to finally tell them all those things that have been burdening her for so long it really got to me I think I didn't cry about Will because I knew it was coming that's what always happens I couldn't cry in Tiffio's in that part when I knew what was gonna happen happened because I knew it and I knew that other people had cried and when you tell me you cried in a book I won't cry at that part because I know it's coming that's why I hate knowing the tone of a book I don't want to know if you cried just tell me it was good and I will read it and I will cry and then we could talk about the crying I'm just just bummed. I'm really bummed about this book. I'm bummed that she wasn't enough and I'm happy that Louise is gonna try to live a very full life now and that she's gonna go back to school and try to do what she loves and travel and I love that but I just I hate that he wouldn't give it a chance you know because she loved him and he loved her and it was very upsetting and I know he was living in pain and I completely understand why he did like I'm not blaming him I'm just I'm just sad that they didn't even have a chance you know I love that night when there was a thunderstorm when they were on vacation and they just kind of cuddled and watched it together. I thought that was so nice. I love the book and I loved the note at the end from Will. And I love that he's given her all the resources she needs to live this full life that he set her on the path of. I'm really upset her mom said don't come back if you're gonna leave now. And I don't like that we didn't get resolved for that. I, I would assume that's actually resolved in the next book. Now that I think about it, there's a second book. So oh, I'm just not, I'm at the point right now where I don't think I can pick up that second book. I'd love to hear your thoughts and your favorite parts. If you cry or not if you were spoiled and you cried despite being spoiled I'm so excited for the film I hope that I love it just as much I feel like it might be a sort of Tiffio's film adaptation I feel like it could be really close to this book because the book's not too long and it's told in a way that I could see very easily being translated into a script so I don't know we'll see I think Sam Claflin's gonna make a wonderful will share your feels thank you so much for watching I'm Christine I make videos every Tuesday I'm at Xine May on Twitter and Instagram all my links are in the description below I'll talk to you next time. Bye!